Um, it's been said that viewers no longer tune in to learn what's happening, but rather to reinforce their prejudices. Um, I think the rise of Fox News, uh, we all discussed uh, Chris Wallace and Bill Clinton yesterday. Fox News is, uh, quote, fair and balanced, um, has essentially um, allowed anchors and other reporters and other presenters to, to color their presentations. Um, could you comment on, on where you think this is going and what its long-term effect is going to be? This is not an original term with me, but increasingly we are living in silos and receiving our information in silos where Christian, you know, 1,200 Christian radio stations in this country, 250 Christian television stations in this country. Uh, over the years, Pat Robertson and the Christian Ride have taught, have urged their people to watch only uh, Christian broadcasting, listen only to Christian radio. Uh, in other words, to get the information that confirms their worldview. Uh, and you find that the people who watch PBS and listen to NPR do not watch Fox uh, or do not watch CNN. Uh, and you find that, that, that all of us, that, that news is playing to various constituencies. In, in, in one sense, that uh, is, is revealing about how, what's happening to American society in which common ground, uh, to use the title of Tony Lucas's book, is increasingly eroding under our feet. The negative news is, will we ever have information in common again that enables our politicians to act in concert to try to solve the relentless uh, social issues that are pressing down as we sleepwalk to the abyss. Uh, and that's a difficult thing. I mean, that you, you, enough of us have to know enough in common in order to provide uh, guidance to the politicians who are trying to bring us along to settle these issues. 51% of the American people I saw just this weekend still believe that there were weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. That that is, and, and those are primarily, according to the University of Maryland study, those are primarily the viewers of Fox News and the listeners of, of, of talk radio, which is 98% uh, conservative, as most of you know. So the inability, this is all part of the strategy, by the way, on the right, to, to build up a, an alternative set of facts uh, so that you do not have to, so that the facts from the other side are instantly discounted by your constituents because they're not your facts. It's a very uh, troubling um, tendency. I was more pessimistic about it before in the last three years, the rise of the blogosphere, which has proved to be both detrimentally the means to attack and bring down somebody, but uh, advantageously the means to defend somebody. And there's, I, I discover among individual, among people who watch, uh, who go to the web to pay attention to different bloggers, they do have a lot of information in common because it is circulating so fast back and forth from all the people who, who uh, uh, are interested in the particular subject that there's more common information because of the transactions on the Internet than there would be uh, without it. But it is still troubling that we are dissolving into separate realities uh, in this country that makes it very hard to interpret the meaning of the preamble to the Constitution where it says, we the people, in order to do certain things. And this is a, this is a troubling uh, uh, development in, in, in my book. 